One of my subscribers asked me how to program the ESC in the Legendary Thunder. Now the manual, it's not real clear, at least it wasn't clear to me on how to do this. So I'm gonna go through step by step how I uh, program the ESC on my Legendary Thunder. And really the uh, areas I'd look to program would be the start mode punch. I turn that down to level one. It still has plenty of power, but will not be as harsh on the drivetrain. Uh, stock, you can see it's the black, uh, the black squares denote the stock level. So level three was the stock level. Now I have the punch set to the stock setting, which is three out of five. Also, the brakes are way too strong when you're running 3S. Ooh. So 75% is a no-go. I turned it down to 50% and that works well with the taller gear I'm running. But I think 25% may even work for a lot of you guys out there. So I'm gonna fumble through this and uh, hopefully uh, I can make a decent video on, on how this works. But it's not, you know, the most user-friendly way to uh, program an ESC. I tried to use my Hobbywing programming card. It isn't Hobbywing ESC, but for whatever reason, my programming card would not work. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn on your transmitter. Now what you're going to want to do is hold down this little button in front of the on-off switch and then turn it on. Continue holding it. The red light is flashing. Alright, one green beep. It just did two and it's going through these five different menus. Four. Five. So what I'm gonna do is when we get back to number five, I'm gonna let go. Okay, so now we're in number five here. And you'll notice it's beeping twice. That means I'm in 50%. Number two is 50%. So two beeps corresponds with a number here. So what I'm gonna do to change it is I'm gonna hit the set button. Now it's three times. So it's at 75%, but I don't want that. Hit it again, four times. Definitely don't want that, that's 100%. Hit it again, one beep. Now we're down at 25%. I'm gonna put it back to 50, just because that was working well for me. So there we go, it's beeping twice. And what you're gonna do to lock that in place is just turn the ESC off. So bam, it's off. So now I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna hold the set button down, turn the ESC on, wait till it goes to the green light. Two, three, four, five. Let go, two beats. So it's set right, simple as that. So again, how you do this is you hold down the set button, turn on the ESC, continue depressing the set button. Don't let go of it until you get the green beeps that correspond to the number here that gets you in the menu system you wanna be in. So again, four green beeps is the start punch mode. Then you can toggle through the different settings and when it's beep beeping the red, light the number of times that you want it to beep. Then you just go ahead and turn the ESC off to lock it in and turn it back on and it should be at the setting you requested. Let me go ahead and try this one more time. We'll do option four this time, which is the uh, punch start. I have it, I believe on level one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hold the set button down, turn the ESC on, continue holding it down one green light, two green lights, three green lights, four. So I'm letting go. See, it's only beeping once. So it's on punch setting one. If I want to keep one, I just turn it off and I'm good. If I want to change it, now it's on punch setting level two. See, it's beeping twice, level two. 
Hit it again. Punch setting level three. I'm gonna set it back to one. So we're on four. Now we're back to one. And I'm gonna turn it off. And when I toggle it back on, it'll still be set to level one. One, two green lights, three green lights, four is the menu I want, and now it's beeping once. So again, the punch is set to where I want. So there you go. Um, these are the different options you can set using the set button on the um, power switch. And uh, my preferred setting for this truck would be to knock the brake force down to 50. You might even be happier at 25%. Way too strong on 3S uh, at the stock 75% setting. All right, that definitely woke that thing up. Ooh. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I run this truck next time is reduce the brake force. Again, for the punch, Level three is fine, I guess, but I prefer one. I'm gonna be hard enough on the drivetrain without having it up on level three. Now I have the punch set to the stock setting, which is three out of five, and I do not have the wheelie bar on here. I'll probably end up turning the punch down because I'm mainly gonna be doing speed runs with this truck, but yeah, this thing has tons of power. So that's the um, punch level I chose. The low voltage cutoff, three is uh, pretty low. But, um, you know, you might want to bump that up a little bit. I certainly wouldn't go any lower. So that's up to you. The drag force brake, I would leave that at 0%. I uh, don't run a drag brake, but you can see there's a lot of different options here. And then lastly, the running mode. I want um, the default setting. You could set it to number one where you do not have reverse, but I like to use reverse. Uh, now and then I go off the road and you know, it comes in handy. So hopefully this video helps you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. And if you find this video helpful, please like and consider subscribing to my channel. I have tons of great content on this legendary Thunder. Additionally, over here you can see I have a uh, Jetwood 14 scale truck, uh, a hay boxing, a 16 scale truck. Up here, there's a bunch of other stuff. HBX 297A, tons of different cars on this channel. Most of it's pretty budget friendly stuff. So please check out my channel and I'll hopefully see you guys on the next one. Take care.